everybody. Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of four books, host of two PBS specials. Here today in downtown Houston to talk about the concept of responsibility. This subject came up the other day with, uh, in a conversation with my youngest son, Nick, who's about to graduate from high school. And I was kind of mentioning, you know, I kind of see sometimes how you tend to advocate responsibility for any problem in the past. He was quick to point out that, no, Dad, you're missing it, he, that he loves humor, that he was mostly kidding, and that I really couldn't tell. Hey, he's the expert on what he's thinking and feeling, so I'm willing to give him that. But even in bringing up, I wasn't trying to make him feel bad about the past. For those of you who follow my life from the top of the mind philosophy, you know that I don't believe that feeling bad helps us do good. It actually traps us in this lower 20% of the brain. So when I'm talking about taking responsibility, I'm not talking about feeling bad about a mistake. I'm also not talking about blaming others, however, because I believe that when we blame others, we give up our ability to respond in the future, that not taking responsibility for past decisions limits our ability to respond in the future. So instead, what I suggest we do is look back on the past, anything that didn't work out the way we wanted to, and say, good information. Knowing what I know now, how would I do that differently in the future? Because that engages that upper 80% of the brain. It helps us begin to create plans and images of how we want to be, who we want to be, what we would teach to someone we love. Now, just know that I'm not trying to talk about the past in terms of when we were kids, like we were supposed to take responsibility for something that happened to us then. I'm talking about decisions we made, purposeful decisions, as adults that just didn't work out the way we wanted them to. At the time, it seemed like maybe the best thing to do. Now we have new information. and We can take that information and use it to make plans for the future. We can succeed. When we're forced to remember the pain of the past, we're trapped in the part of the brain that just remembers pain and tries to avoid what we're talking about. And by the way, the reason I'm among these uh, chess pieces here is because I believe chess is a wonderful example of how we do this. When we make a move in chess that doesn't work out, we don't go, it's your fault. <laughs> we go, okay, good information. We file that away. And that's why when we play chess or pretty much any game, we get better and better and better because we take that good information into the future. I'm encouraging us to do that in life. Take responsibility so that you can have the ability to respond. It's not about blame. It's not about shame. It's not about beating ourselves up or blaming it on others. It's about looking at the past as good information so that we can take that information into the future. I hope you found this valuable. Try to keep these videos short. Here's to you bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.